Hey everybody, welcome to day two of the Financial Freedom Challenge. I am so excited to have you here with me today. Did you enjoy day one? How did that go for you? Did you find that process to be really you know, simple and, uh, and easy for you? Are you excited about the process of of making some changes in your life, becoming financially free. And, uh, you know, I can't tell you how amazing it is to be able to see some of the people and some of the students that have gone through this program in the lives that have been changed and impact. And I can't wait to see that in you. So day two, let's talk about day two. Now, what day two is all about is getting mentally prepared. Now, um, we're going to be remembering a time when you were financially free. Do you remember that? Do you remember when, you know, you had no debt whatsoever? No debt at all, no, you know, credit cards. How did that make you feel? Did you feel free? Did you not have such a burden of, of debt on your shoulders? What I wanna challenge you to do is I want you to think about where you used to be and how that made you feel. Now, fast forward to today, how do you feel now? in the current situation you're in, all the debt that you might be dealing with. You know, do you see the difference where you were and where you are now? What I wanna challenge you to do is to work extremely hard to be able to go back to where you used to be right now. I want you to, ch I wanna challenge you to do whatever it takes to become financially free, to pay off all of your debt so you can have that feeling again. How much did being financially free impact you financially? Think about that. You know, whenever I was financially free, when I didn't have any debt, I could just go to the, every single dollar that I had, I was in control. It was mine, okay? That meant I could have go to the store, I could have, you know, bought a new shirt, bought some clothes, went shopping. If I wanted to, uh, to take a vacation, if I wanted to go out to eat, it wasn't just such a burden because so much of my money is going towards all these credit cards and all this debt. And I remember how amazing it felt. And I wanna challenge you, how did that make you feel whenever you weren't impacted financially by so much debt? That's where I want you to go. That's where I want you to be as you complete this challenge and as you go through it, do all the steps, and then soon you're going to be there. You're gonna be impacted in such a positive way in your life. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to the tactics in the application below. And uh, you're gonna be, we're gonna be looking at this from a mental standpoint, getting you mentally prepared to be successful. Uh, we're also gonna be setting some actionable goals, some goals that we're gonna be setting today that you are going to achieve. And I promise you, you are going to achieve them. As long as you put the work in, as long as you have the right mental appetite, as long as you're willing to do what it takes to be successful, you are going to achieve these goals. Now, if history has, not shown, has, uh, has shown you that uh, multi-million dollar entrepreneurs and billionaires all over the world, you know, uh, they all say the same thing, that one of the top things that you need to do to be successful is to set goals. And I wanna challenge you to take that part very seriously because if you don't set the actionable goals that you can take, how do you know what you're going to achieve? You need, instead of having an overall outlook of I wanna be debt free and I wanna be financially free, we need to look at some, some much smaller details, some smaller goals that I wanna achieve. Like I wanna pay off this card first. I wanna pay off that credit card first. I want to, to do this. I wanna start budgeting. I wanna, I wanna get an emergency fund just in case something happens. You know, I had a student the other day that just started and their car broke down. And you know what, it it's gonna cost about $1,500 to, to fix. Guess what they don't have, $1,500. Guess what they had to do? They had to try to find a credit card to be able to put it on. And they, you know, they're in a horrible situation. It's like, what do you do? But if you have an emergency fund set aside just for that, which is emergencies, then it's not something that you have to worry about. So we're gonna be looking at all those different things. So go ahead, go to the tactics and application below and get started. I'll see you in the training.